My computer, it's a bit old, but it lets me access the internet and do my writing. <sighs> I am just feeling so uninspired today. Maybe tomorrow I'll fill up to it, but today, it's just not happening. This is the only living plant I own. I bought it two years ago. It's still living despite my total lack of care. Just some old book review clippings. Apparently this envelope had no trouble entering the building. Go figure. Looks like it's from Bellevue.
There are some pictures stuck to the back of this letter. I must have watched all these a dozen times. Hello? Rosangelina, hi. Hi, Bob. Thanks so much for submitting your last review on time. For once. Yeah. I've got a little assignment for you today. Assignment? Human interest, Blackwell. Suicide. College girl named Joanne Sherman. Well, that's awful, but... You know the Brittany house, the NYU dorm? Yes, but... Speak to some people on her floor. Get a word in with the roommate. Listen. Speak to the RA too, and hey, see if you can score a picture of the girl. But I don't do that stuff. I write book reviews. Versatility. Time to get out of your comfort zone. Jeremy's over at City Hall covering that strike, so you are it. Get cracking. I hate him so much. Is freelancing for that stupid paper even worth it? Well, I guess it keeps me writing, but... Oh, whatever. I'll just go over there and get it done. It's not like I don't have enough death in my life right now. Maybe this isn't a bad thing. It's like being a real reporter, sort of. My old notepad should come in handy for this. I don't want to ruin the picture. That's definitely Auntie Lauren. She's looking at something off camera. I wonder what it was. I assume that's my mother. She sort of looks like me, I guess. Other than that, she's a total stranger. Is that my dad? He looks so young. I always pictured my dad as being older. All I know about Joanne is that she was an NYU student who killed herself. This TV was here when I moved in. It's a photograph of Auntie Lauren and me. 
Auntie Lauren. She took care of me after my parents died. For most of my life, Auntie Lauren was a vegetable, slowly rotting away in a hospital bed. I don't remember what she was like before that. This picture is all I have to go by. It's me. I look scared out of my mind. I don't remember when this picture was taken, but I look about four or five years old. That's Griff, the P.I. Bear. I've had him as long as I can remember. He's in horrible shape, but I don't have the heart to throw him away. Just a trash can filled with crumpled up novel ideas. It's fake, but kind of pretty. Out of sight, out of mind. Out of sight, out of mind. No. I open those curtains and a dozen windows can look directly in here. Those curtains stay shut and prying eyes stay out. My window with the curtains firmly shut. There's nothing in these cabinets I want right now. Griff is fine where he is. I suppose I should trim this plant. Maybe one day. I don't need to bother. I don't get reception anyway. I don't need to touch it. I know these plants are fake. Just a standard stove-oven combo. Cook? Why bother when every Chinese restaurant in the area delivers? I'm not up for watching a movie. Besides, I've seen all of them a dozen times. I don't need to take the trash out. It's not even full. They're fine where they are. That leads to my bedroom. It's an oversized closet, but it suits me fine. I'm not ready for bed. I can't remember. I'm not knocking on some stranger's door. Come in! Hello, Rosa. Come in, come in. Don't mind the pooch, he's harmless. Here, boy. Hi, um, dog. His name is Moti. Right. Moti. See ya. Let me guess. You're hungry again? Go get it. That's Nishanti Sharma, my next-door neighbor, apparently. This is, um, a lovely place. Thank you. Not the biggest place, but fine for Moti and me. So, you play the flute, huh? Yes, I play the flute. It's called a bansuri. What about you? Do you play an instrument? Me? No, I can hardly play the kazoo. Let's see. You strike me as being creatively inclined. Are you a painter? A writer. Well, I'm trying to be a writer. I knew it. Anything published? Nothing really, aside from book reviews in the Village Eye. 
Village Eye. You mean that little paper they sell at the stand? You've read it? I've seen it around, but I've never actually read it. Perhaps I will the next time I see it. That dog is adorable. Moti. He's spoiled rotten, but he's good company. He's taken quite a shine to you, that's for sure. Huh. Yeah. Usually I'm not good with animals. You never had a childhood pet? A pet? No, I had a teddy bear. <laughs> well, you probably had the right idea. Moti's a little thing, but you wouldn't know it from the amount he eats. He's very active, it seems. Yes, that probably explains it. See that box of biscuits? I buy a new one every two days. Moti doesn't have a stomach. He has a black hole that sucks in food. Feel free to give him one if you like. You have a very nice apartment. Thank you. A bit small, but that's New York for you. You seem very friendly with the people in this building. Well, I didn't grow up here. I didn't realize it was taboo to chat with neighbors. Well, it's not taboo exactly, it's just... Oh, I know, just one of those unspoken things. I've found that most people are pretty friendly, though, once you take the first step. People have their defenses up most of the time. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, I do. Why do you play the flute in the park? It's a place to go, I suppose. I was walking there one day, and I had the bansuri with me, so I started playing. Next thing I knew, I had a bunch of people around me. So I go there as often as I can now. It gets me out of this stuffy apartment, and I admit I like the attention. Plus, Moti loves the dog run there. Well, he did until they closed it down. Why did they close down the dog run? It seemed okay to me. Nobody really knows. It started about a week ago. Dogs started howling, running around like maniacs, acting strange. Some even hurled themselves at the fence door trying to get out. They say it's some kind of high-frequency wave that's caused by electric cables or something. Some high-pitched sound that the dogs can hear, but we can't. But I know better. You know better? Definitely. I noticed these things. I could tell that things weren't quite right. Something in the air. It's not a high-pitched noise. That would only cause a dog pain. This was more than pain. The dogs were scared. What was there to be scared of? I have no idea. But I know what I sensed, just like you did. Me? You sensed it. Don't think I didn't notice. I didn't sense anything. Well, perhaps. Maybe I'm just spouting nonsense. Could I try feeding the dog? Sure. Here, take one. I have plenty. Go ahead and feed him. He's always hungry. Thanks again for helping me out earlier. I'd probably be sleeping in a hotel tonight if it weren't for you. Oh, didn't you hear? The strike's over. Really? It only lasted a few hours according to the report on the radio. I suppose that's irony. I suppose so. Well, I'd better go. Take care, Rosa. Come back whenever you'd like. Hmm, these dog biscuits are really mushy. Someone wants a treat, eh? Go get it! Hmm, these dog... Come on, boy. Um, what do I do now? Just say, go get it. He'll do the rest. Go get it. See ya. You know I spoil you. Go get it! That's Nishanti Sharma, my next door neighbor. Well, I'd better go. Take care, Rosa. Come back whenever you'd like. All right, but this is the last one. Go get it!
Ugh. I feel like hell and I have to interview college kids. Hopefully this won't take too long. Just a bunch of notices. Guitar lessons, study groups, stuff like that. I'm not stealing stuff from college kids. The sign reads, Amanda Fay and Karen Schreier. The sign says, Sandy Chen and Sonata Munier. The sign says, Adrian Tucker, resident assistant. Looks like a fire alarm. The sign reads, Sarah Kaplan and Julie Gilberg. Um, no. Ew, there's gum stuck to the faucet. I'm not touching that. It's a drinking fountain. The sign says Kelly Hawthorne and Joanne Sherman. The sign says Shelly Chenoy and Sarah El Male. There's nobody home. The sign says Shelly Chenoy and Sarah El Male. Can I talk to you for a few minutes? And who the hell are you? I'm Rosangela Blackwell, with The Village Eye. The Village what? The Village Eye, the newspaper. I've never heard of it. It's for sale in the stand just outside your dorm. You must have seen it. Well, I haven't. What do you want? I'd like to talk to you about your roommate, if that's all right. Jesus Christ. I'm busy with midterms. I told the campus police everything. Do you have to bother me? Look. So she killed herself. Big whoop. Why is that my problem? I only want a few minutes. I don't care. I'm busy. I don't care about what you want, and I could care less about Joanne. Just go. You don't care? Not even a little bit? No, I don't. Why the hell should I? For that matter, why should you? Will you please calm down? Calm down? Who the hell do you think you are? I just want to know a little bit about Joanne. Fine. You want to know about Joanne? She's dead. She couldn't take the pressure, so she jumped off the roof. Did Joanne act unusual before she died? Nope. Same old Joanne. Studied at our desk all day and slept all night, as usual. Quiet as a little mouse. Do you have a photograph of Joanne that we could use for the newspaper? You want a what? Just a photograph. You'll get it right back. Yeah, right. You think I'm giving you anything? Think again. Is there anything else you can tell me about Joanne? No. Do you have any thoughts on why Joanne would kill herself? Nope. Just another kid who couldn't hack it. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Why do you want to know? Just background info for the paper. I don't think so. Suit yourself. Joanne never had trouble sleeping. How would I know? You lived with her. Like I pay attention. So Joanne was a good student. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Joanne and Kelly were roommates at NYU. That's all I really know about them. Hmm, no, I don't see any connection.
My boss asked me to find a photograph of Joanne to put it in the paper. If anyone has a photograph of Joanne, it would be Kelly. If only I could convince her to give it to me. Kelly told me that Joanne studied all day and nothing else. Kelly told me that Joanne slept soundly all night. Kelly told me that Joanne... According to Kelly, Joanne didn't have any trouble sleeping. It would appear that Joanne was a pretty good student, or at least a hard-working one. Joanne seemed to be a hard-working student. Maybe the pressure got to her. All I know about Joanne is that she was an NYU student who killed herself. There's nobody home. There's nobody home. Hmm? Hi, I'm Rosangela Blackwell with the Village Eye. Oh, this is about Joanne, isn't it? You know her? Well, I am the RA for this floor. I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't know everybody. The campus police found her around 5 a.m. this morning. Can you tell me about her? Hmm. Well, all right. But could you leave my name out of it? That shouldn't be a problem. Good. Joanne's parents have already asked the dean to fire me. I don't need anyone else knowing who I am. What do you want to know? Could you tell me about Joanne again? Well, as I said, I didn't know her socially. But she seemed nice enough. Nobody ever complained about her. She always had friends around her. She never had any trouble, as far as I know. Her suicide came as a total surprise. Can you tell me anything about Joanne? She jumped off the roof. She died instantly. It was in the middle of the night. There was, there was no way anybody could have stopped her. Make sure you print that. Would you have a picture of Joanne? A picture? No. Why would I? Just asking. What can you tell me about Joanne's roommate? Kelly? Have you met her? Yes. Quite a sight, huh? But don't judge her by that. She's the sharpest kid you'll ever meet. She gets straight A's on everything. Really? Yep, she's pre-med. Do you know if Joanne had any trouble sleeping? I'm afraid I wouldn't. Her roommate, Kelly, never complained, but that's not surprising. Why is that? Well, Kelly rarely spent the night in her room. She only comes here to study, as far as I've seen. Was Joanne a good student? I don't think she had any problems, but of course, the pressure can get to anybody. So how did you get to be an RA of this floor? What do you mean? Well, it's a girl's floor, and you, well... Aren't? Yes. Well, it's like this. Someone at the registrar thought Adrian was a girl's name. So here I am. None of the girls have complained? Not yet. They seem to prefer it. This sort of thing happens quite frequently. You'd be surprised. Do you know where Kelly was sleeping? No, it's not my place to ask. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for helping out. Just remember, leave my name out of it. There's nobody home. been sleeping somewhere else lately. Yeah, I've been at my boyfriend's. You've been following me or something? No, no, just confirming the information. Looks like Adrian's been talking. Can you tell me anything about Adrian? The RA? He's okay. He helps us out when we need it and keeps out of our way when we don't. It's the way it should be.
Joanne never had trouble sleeping. How would I know? You lived with her. Like I pay attention. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. If I were planning to kill myself, would I sleep soundly at night? I don't know if I could. Wait a minute. Something isn't right. If Kelly's been spending her night somewhere else, how can she know if her roommate was sleeping well or not? Hmm. I think Kelly was lying to me. Did Kelly really lie to me? I probably should ask her about it. Yeah? Your RA told me that you haven't been sleeping in your dorm. Yes, so? You told me that Joanne slept in her room every night. So? How would you know Joanne slept here if you've been sleeping somewhere else? Huh? Oh, well, I just assumed. Did you lie to me? I didn't lie. I just... No, oh, screw it. You want to talk? Fine. What do you want to know? So what was Joanne really like? To be honest, there's nothing to say. She was studying political science, which is kind of cool, I guess. But she was so vanilla. Vanilla? You know, sweet, but not much there. Just a typical college kid. Acted just like everybody else. She seemed proud of it. Did Joanne act unusual before she died? Um, no. Although, the last few weeks she's been talking in her sleep. What did she say? No idea. Couldn't understand her. She swore up and down that she wasn't doing it. She looked a bit scared, though. Scared? How so? Just scared. I didn't need the drama, so I've been sleeping at my boyfriend's place. So you weren't here when she... Killed herself? No, I wasn't here. N not that it would have made much of a difference. Are we done? I could really use a photo of Joanne, if you have one. Hmm. Alright. Just a sec. This was hers. It was on her desk. She won't be needing it anymore. Do ask the girl on the left. Thanks. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Why do you want to know? Just background info for the paper. I don't think so. Suit yourself. Can you tell me anything about Adrian? The RA? He's okay. He helps us out when we need it and keeps out of our way when we don't. It's the way it should be. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. All I know about Joanne is that she was an NYU student who killed herself. Ugh. This is getting worse. At least I have enough for the story now. I better get home. There's nobody home. Hmm? Hi, it's me again. You have more questions, I imagine? Yeah, is that okay? I suppose so. What do you want to know? Could you tell me about Joanne again? Well, as I said, nobody ever complained. She always had friends. She never had any... Her suicide came as a total surprise. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for helping out. Just remember, leave my name out of it. Um, no. Um, no. Looks like an internal phone. For paging doctors or patients, I guess. I'm here to see Dr. Quentin. Sure thing, you're cleared. Go right in. Come in. Dr. Quentin? Oh, hello. Come in, come in. Do you know anything about headaches? It's hardly my specialty, but I know enough. Why? I've been getting them. Lots of them. In your case, I'd say they were triggered by stress. 
Are they usually this bad? It varies. Over-the-counter pain medication, rest, that's all I'd suggest. Thanks. I guess I'll head out. Very well. Goodbye, Miss Blackwell. This is getting bad. Come in! Look, Moti, our neighbors come to visit us again. Come in! Could I feed Moti another treat? Sure. Here, take another. I have plenty. Well, I'd better go. Take care, Rosa. Come back whenever you'd like. Come here, boy. Go get it. See ya. You know I spoil you. Go get it. <laughs> oh my god. This really hurts. Sleep, that's all I need. I'll just type up the story and get to bed. Shouldn't take that long. No, I can't find any information about Joanne. No mention of Joanne's suicide yet. If it just happened this morning, I doubt that anyone would have published it yet. No, no information about Kelly. Nope, no information about Adrian. Right, no more interruptions. Done. Articles finished, picture is scanned, and I am done for the day. No. What's... What is happening? It's gone. The pain, it's gone. That was strange. It was like, like... What is that? The photo. Something is different about it. I almost don't want to look, but... No, no, no! I did not just see that. I am not going crazy. No, it's just the stress, that's all. Auntie's death, work, life... I just need a rest, that's all. do that. So, Griff, long time no see. How's tricks? Right, thought as much. Blackwell dames, always sleeping. You're always sleeping, and I'm always watching. Yep, that's me, the eternal chump. Mmm. It's about time. Hey, nap time Nelly. Wake up. What? <clears throat> Shall we try this again? No. 
Now that's not very polite. Go away! I'm afraid I can't do that, darling. Believe me, I've tried. No, you don't exist. Oh, yes I do. Look at me. This is not happening. This is not happening. Oh, brother. I am not going insane. There is nothing there. Could you? No! I am not my aunt. I am not my grandmother. I am not going to end up like that. Listen. Get out of my head! There's nothing there. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. Could you? Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! No, you shut up. You're gonna listen. And you're gonna listen good. I've been watching you all day, sweetheart. You know who I am. No. Yes. I'm not going away, so there'd be no point in beating around the bush. Now say my name. No! Damn you, you know my name, now say it! You're... Yes? You're... Joey? Good girl. You got it in one. Now turn around and look at me. I... Don't worry. I won't bite. Couldn't even if I wanted to. Hi there. Um... You really exist. Oh yes, live and in person. Although I'm not really alive, and I'm not sure if I can still call myself a person anymore. So who are you? I'm Joey Malone, and I'm the family spirit guide. What? Think of me as the Blackwell legacy, darling. I'm passed down from one generation to the next, like a family heirloom. First your grandmother got stuck with me, then your aunt, and now you. Where did you come from? That's a long, long story, Dollface. And we've got more important things to do. Why have you been haunting my family? Haunting? Is that what I'm doing? That's a real ugly word. Answer me, why are you here? You got me, sweetheart. I've been wondering why me and why your family since this whole gig started. Must be some kind of gift your family has. A gift? You're a medium. A medium with a direct connection with the spirit world. And I, my dear, have the unique pleasure of being that connection. I don't... I don't understand any of this. Oh, you will, babe, you will. It took your aunt a while, but she got the hang of it. Your grandmother never really caught on. That's probably why... Why what? Why she didn't last long. But that's something we can talk about later. You felt something today, didn't you? Felt something? Yeah, you felt sick to your stomach, I saw you. I've been feeling sick all day. And where did it start? You mean... the dog run? Yeah. That's where we've gotta go. What? Right now? Yep, the sooner the better. But it's the middle of the night. So you've just had a nice nap. You should be ready for action. I'm not going out to Washington Square Park in the middle of the night. Well, that's where you're wrong. If there's any reason behind this medium business, it's to take care of problems like your dog park. And we have to take care of them soon. This is all too much. I've got to sleep on this. Sorry, kiddo. We gotta go now. What's the hurry? Let me put it another way. Do you want to end up like your aunt and grandmother? Was that because of you? Did you do that? Not me, kid. Not me. I didn't make him that way, and I don't know what did. But do you really want to sit around here and find out? Fine. Let's go. That's the spirit. After you. That was strange. Everybody just ignored you. Am I the only one who can see you? Yep, and hear me. So keep your voice low. Oh, yeah. This is the spot. Can you see it? I don't see anything. Can we go? Come on, this way. Hey, wait! Don't worry, I can't travel far from you. It goes against the rules. Whatever they are. Now look inside there, and look close. What am I supposed to see? Just wait. It'll come. Wait, I see something. Who is that? That's what we're here to find out. I'll talk to the spook. You can stay here. Okay. Now watch and learn. 
Why so down, beautiful? Ah. I'm a bit out of practice. How should I handle this? Hey, don't be like that. If there's one thing I hate, it's seeing a pretty girl cry. Leaving so soon? I thought we were getting along. They all run. It's so hard to hold on. It's me. It's me, they won't stop. We're here to help you. Help? Yeah, that's us. We're helpers. Help. Help. He wants me to help him. But I want to help them. Don't they know that? Help who? Can't. Can't. They run away. We won't run away. No. No, we're sick! He poisoned us! Got into our head and poisoned us. Whatever happened, darling, it's over. You do know that, don't you? No. I'm poisoned. Stay away or I'll poison you! Run! Run away like all the others! Not a chance. I'm staying right here. You're... you're him. He's, He's the only one who won't go away. away! Who? Him! Now look, darling, sweetheart. Leave me. Hey. Leave! All right. We're going. Look, just sit tight. We'll figure this out, and we'll be back. Friggin' ghosts. Can't get a straightforward answer out of any of them. What just happened? What just happened is we've got an unstable spirit on our hands. Haunting that dog park over there. You wondered why the mutts don't like it here? That's the reason. There's a ghost haunting the dog park. That's what I said. A ghost. Sure. What am I doing here? I told you. No. No. I really should go to bed. Hey, wait a sec. Yeah, sleep. I shouldn't be here. Oh, for the love of Pete. Uh, what an odd dream. Good morning, bright eyes. Uh, you're still here. Wouldn't be anywhere else. Has anybody told you that you snore? Have you been here all night? Where else am I gonna go? I can't leave your side, doesn't matter if you're asleep or not. So this is going to be my life from now on? Pretty much, yeah. You're going to follow me around for the rest of my life? That's how it works, as far as I can tell. Great. Just great. Hey, it ain't all a bed of roses for me either, dollface. You think I chose to be shackled to your family for the last 40 years? Your grandmother refused to accept it, and look what happened to her. And auntie? She made a mistake. What kind of mistake? Hey, what is this, 20 questions? What's with the third degree? I have a right to know. No, you want to know. There's a difference. I don't have to tell you squat. Look, this isn't easy, you know. You're a ghost? Fine. I'm a medium? Fine. My whole life is turned upside down? Fine. But you could at least meet me halfway. You've accepted it, you say? So far, yes. You've only seen a taste of it. Are you ready to go all the way? What do you mean? Ready to see what's out there. Ready to see what this is all about. <laughs> Yes. Good. Maybe there's hope after all. So what is it? I don't have to tell you. It's best if I show you. Here, take a hold of this. I can touch it? Yeah, the only part of me you can touch, unfortunately. It kind of tingles. What is it? The stuff of life. Or death. I've never quite worked it out. What now? Now you pull. Pull the tie? Yeah, pull. Okay.
Oh my god, where have you taken me? Relax. Take your time. It's a lot to take in at once. What is this place? It's the doorway to infinity, darling. Out there, in the distance, the next world. The next plane of existence. The gossamer threads that separate this world from the next. Whatever you want to call it. It's all out there. How did we get here? We're inside your head. You mean I'm dreaming? No, I mean we're literally inside your head. Remember those headaches you had yesterday? Yeah. That was your power awakening. Or to be more specific, it was this place, forcing its way into your mind. So what does that mean? It means that you've got a spiritual way station in your head. I'm not sure I like this. Well, like it or not, we're here. So what does this place actually do? It's sort of a transfer point, or node. It connects the mortal world with the next. You bring spirits into this place, and then send them on their merry way. That's it. Well, there's a bit more to it than that. I thought as much. You see, many ghosts aren't as lucid as myself. Most can barely tell you their own names, let alone tell you what's wrong. Near as I can figure, they have to come to terms with their... departure. Before they can actually depart. You dig me so far? I think so. The ghosts don't know they're dead. Yeah, yeah, right. So, we have to help them accept it. Once they accept their death, they are much more willing to move on. That's my job, see? I talk to the spooks. They trust me more because I'm one of them. You do the legwork. See? Anyway, I know you have some questions about this place, so go ahead and ask them. What about that ghost in the park? The one from last night? Why didn't we bring her here? First of all, I didn't think you were ready. And secondly, that ghost was too lost and confused. When a ghost is like that, I can't just force the tie into their hands. It won't work, don't ask me why. They have to know they're dead first. Your aunt called it, uh, being spiritually ready. What about you? Can you go through that hole and move on? I wish, darling. But I can't. I've tried before, but it just spits me back out. I'm stuck here, whether I like it or not. You're wearing your tie again. How did that happen? Not sure. Near as your aunt and me figured, the tie is just an extension of whatever power brought us here. It's not a real physical tie. No more than I am a real physical person. But that makes no sense. Look, just accept it, dollface. Forget logic. For you, logic went out the window the day I appeared in your bedroom. There ain't no instruction manual for this. Your aunt and me just figured it out as we went along. Are you okay, Joey? Me? I'm dandy. You don't look all right. The, it's just this place. I don't like it. Probably because I don't belong. Maybe someday, but not now. I think I've learned enough. You sure? Yeah. All right. Let's get out of here. Welcome back. Ugh. Take it easy. It's a little disorientating. I'm fine. So what now? Go back to the park and bring her to... that place? You got it. And how do we do that? There are three steps. First, we have to find out more about her. Second, we use that information to get through to her, convince her that she's dead. And three, help her move on. How do we find out more about her? She could be anybody. Not necessarily. That picture you got, the one of the three girls? That blonde girl is either the ghost in the park or her twin sister. You sure? She's a dead ringer. No pun intended. The blonde girl is dead. Looks like it. And this other girl, Joanne, she's dead too. Yep. What's going on? That, my dear, is our bread and butter. What else can we do to learn more about the ghost in the park? The photo, dear, it's the biggest clue we have. What else can we do to learn more about the ghost in the park? The photo, dear, it's the biggest clue we have. How do we convince ghosts that they're actually dead? That's the tricky part. Near as I can figure, we need to remind the ghosts who they are. Their death was too traumatic or too violent or too emotional that their little spirit minds snapped. 
So we need to do whatever we can to bring them back to themselves. And how do we do that? Usually by finding something that has a personal significance to them. Could be an object, a piece of information, or even another person. So we need to know more about the ghost in the park. You're a writer, yeah? Think of this as the ultimate character study. How do we help a ghost move on? With my magic tie, dear. I give one end to the spook, the other end to you. You pull the ghost in, and you send them on their way. You don't come in with me? No, sorry. That's your job. I think I've heard enough. Yeah, let's get going.